Welcome guys to an episode of Sky Wars Chaos and yeah so I'm actually gonna start posting regularly I know right it's crazy I'm gonna actually post videos oops that's, that's his chest anyway so man I came into this with like a whole thing prepared about how I was gonna rock this recording because I'm gonna start doing these recordings whenever I have something to talk about and I have something to talk about but I don't know how to do it and all right so uh, yes talking okay so I know if you've seen Technoblade, you know, he had this whole thing going where he'd record videos like this for Sky Wars and Bed Wars, and you know, it was great. It's great. I love it. And, uh... Yeah, he'd just talk, and that's, that's fun. That's easy, because all you gotta do is play video games and talk. And guess what? I, I should be able to play video games and talk, right? Anyway, um, I did have something to talk about though, um, and that was, so, emerald armor. I have, like, a spectacular idea for emerald armor. Get out of here. Um... Yes, I had a spectacular idea for emerald armor. So you see here, the emerald armor. I know other people have had ideas for emerald armor, like just make it a stronger than diamond armor. And you know, that's great and all. Can you not? Thank you. Um, but it's not terribly original. Really, dude? The sir. Okay, but what? Hex! Hex! Get out of here. Sir, he, he's got hacks. He's got fly hacks. He's got fly hacks. This is not how I wanted this first video to go, or this first, um, thing, whatever, uh, game of Sky Wars to go. But he's got fly hacks. You all saw it. You all saw it. He had fly hacks. He had fly hacks. Anyway, so that dude had fly hacks. You all saw it. It's not because I'm bad. Um, but emerald armor. So you see, it could be just a stronger version of diamond. But that would be too easy. Where's the creativity in that? There's no creativity there. I'm not saying the idea is bad. But like, I'm saying my idea is a lot better. My idea is better. So you see here, um, I was thinking that emerald armor would have lower defense, so like, I don't know, gold defense or something like that, I think that's like five and a half armor bars, and like, it's okay, it works, and then it'll give you like an effect, like a beacon, but like, it follows you. Yeah, it would give you an effect, like a beacon. And you see, that's good, because there's been nothing like that before. There's been no um, armors that give you special effects like that. Sir, get out of here, bye, thank you. Um, I didn't get a kill. Okay, there we go. Um, but yeah, it would give you an effect. But I've... I've shared this idea with a couple of friends, and I've already gotten the criticism, oh, the emeralds are so easy to farm because of villagers, and I say, you're right. Yes. Oh, it's the uranium ninja. My favorite element. You got fire, ice, lightning, water, and uranium. <laughs> what is this guy doing? Anyway, now, how does it do 
you still alive? You should not be alive still. Ender Pearl. But, so anyway. Emeralds, they're easy to get. You can trade sticks with the villager dude. They're not that hard to get. But, you see, what would make it, um, actually difficult to get and worth the buff is that on the chest plate, make it, make the centerpiece, make it a nether star. Because you see, that works. Especially because, like, this dude's, this dude's just, this dude's just using the explosive bow. Could you, don't, please, thank you. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the centerpiece, like, for crafting it, the centerpiece, it would be crafted like a normal chest plate, except... The item in the middle wouldn't be an emerald, and instead, it would be another star. And you see, it works because it replaces the beacon. And you see, because the beacon, it sucks. The beacon is terrible. The beacon doesn't do anything that the beacon is supposed to do. Because, you see... It's, like, first and foremost, the purpose of the beacon is so that you can find your base after you've left it, which is pretty good. Oh, I won this game. That's pretty nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. But, okay, so as I was saying, the beacon is supposed to help you find your way home after you've gone away from it. But it doesn't even do that. It shoots the beam of light up into the air, but you move too far away from it, you can't see it anymore. But... Like, that's not even the main problem with it. The main problem with it is that, or well, actually that is a main problem with it, I take that back. Um, but a bigger issue is that, um, the, the site that you can see the beacon moon from is actually smaller or shorter than your render distances. So you could see, the beacon block and not see the beacon beam and that seems like a slight issue just a slight issue um you can't you can't see the beam from very far away try it at least on bedrock edition you can't and that's that's my main so that's what i care about if you're on Java and it works just fine, good for you. I don't really care. I'm talking about Bedrock. And Bedrock, it doesn't work. Um, but honestly, so Emerald Armor, replace the beacon. It's all good. Um. So yeah, craft emerald armor as normal, except with the the nether star as a centerpiece instead of another emerald. That's, that doesn't sound that bad of an idea, I don't think, anyway. What is, what is this clown? Super up for a fight right now, if you don't mind. Thank you. I'm just gonna run. Thanks. Um. But yeah, just beacon. It's no good. You could have the emerald armor with the nether star centerpiece, and everything. Everything works great. Everyone's happy. Now you see here. You might think, eh, it's not, it's not, it's not useful. When would anyone ever use that? And I say, it would find its niche in the game. It's just like, because you see, armor, it doesn't protect against, like, debuffs, like, uh, like, 
poison, or the wither. The wither primarily uses debuffs. Like, the, the frickin' wither effect. Um, and you could get your, um, you could get your, your armor, your netherite armor, or, sorry, not netherite, emerald, and make it, it's thing, regeneration. That's great. Now you got protection against the wither and potion effect. That sounds pretty good. And now you might say this will make the beacon obsolete and useless, and it should be, because the beacon is trash, or you could just fix the beacon, make the radius of, or make the, um, distance that you could see the beacon beam better and then also the second part of the beacon being bad is the effect it's supposed to give it's not good it, the beacon effect is not good it's not super amazing it's just like if you're within 50 blocks of the beacon you can get speed one and like it it's not worth it because Who's staying within 50 blocks of the beacon? I'm pretty sure that's the actual um, radius of the beacon measurement. It's like 50 blocks. Um, if it's a little bigger, like, eh, eh, it's okay. But still, like, can you not? Thank you. Um, Beacon should be a lot stronger. Like you fought the wither. You fought the wither to get the nether star. And then you grind it out, getting some iron or gold or whatever. Some ore. So that you could power the beacon. And your guess what your reward is? Your reward is crap. You you don't it, it's not it's not superb. It's not the greatest thing in the world. There you, go. Thank you. Did you bridge? You did. You MLG bridged. Could you? Could you don't? That would be spectacular. Bye. Um, but yeah, make the beacon. Make the radius of the beacon a little bit bigger. And guess what? You're set. You're golden. I don't know what you're doing. Oh, you're going over there. Could you... I'm going to abuse the power bow. star get your effect that the beacon's supposed to give and you're all set you got everything you need um and you should probably fix the beacon like make the beacon have either a more powerful effect like give whatever effect you choose but like at the third level or make the the radius that it gives a lot bigger i'm talking like double the size or triple the size like 100 or 150 block radius because that's what you worked for that's what you deserve um, i'm gonna go gm i'm gonna see if i can i don't have super good armor but... thank you uh, let's do this Anyway, so get emerald armor with another star, gold defense, plus a level one effect, 
and set a beacon, make the radius bigger, or make the effect stronger. I don't think it's that hard to do. I mean, I don't know. I don't make games at all. I just play them for fun and to record YouTube videos. But I don't think it's that hard because the code is already there. You just need to change it a little bit. Um, but that's really it. Um, that was another episode that, or what do you mean? What are you talking about? Another episode. It wasn't another episode. I don't know. I'm just, I'm, I don't know. It's a tech technoblade said that. And, uh, this is a tech, this is the technoblade style of recording. I mean, it's obviously not the technoblade style of recording. It's just, I found the style of recording over at technoblade's channel because he's actually like a good YouTuber who actually gets views. And that's what I need. I need to be an actual YouTuber who gets actual views. But anyway, that was the first episode of Skywars Chaos. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, then please give the video a like. It makes me feel good inside. And if you're not already subscribed, you should do that. Do you know why? I don't know. Because you want to watch stuff? I don't really know. But anyway, I'm going to be doing this weekly, I think, once a week. I'm going to try and record on, like, the weekend. And then maybe it'll get out by the weekend or on Monday. I don't really know. But that's the plan. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you next time.